Joining us this morning for our very first guest here in our studio is Congressman Mike Turner. Now, you have several big things happening right now. Uh, I know you're on break from Congress. However, right. you're still working, and this isn't That's this right. isn't a break for you. That's right. Um, so the biggest thing that you have going on is this: you have this new initiative, this new bill that you're co-sponsoring. It's it's kind of helping these not kind of, but it's helping minor league baseball uh, teams, right. just like the Dayton Dragons. So right. what exactly would this bill do, and how would it help them? Right. I think there's a misconception that minor league baseball is part of major league baseball, and so there's all the sponsorship and the extra dollars that they have at major league trickles down. Well, it does not. You know, minor league stands alone. Um, and when we went through Congress and did a lot of the um, COVID relief bills, minor league baseball was not included. So um, they have not had the assistance, but yet they had the impact. Um, they went through an entire season where they had no one in their stadium. Um, I know everyone supports State Dragons. I was very proud as mayor to build the stadium and to bring them into to town. And certainly as a member of Congress, I'm going to stand and support them as our community will. We need to get this legislation passed. There's already dollars that are available in the, in the COVID relief packages. We just need to make certain that they can access it uh, so that they're financially stable. So at this point, where exactly does this legislation stand? I, I believe it's just been introduced at this point. Right, right, right. Starting in the Senate, we've got it on the House also. Uh, I believe there's going to be great momentum for this. You know, this is America's pastime. And so I think uh, certainly America's House and Senate will respond. Do you think it could help the minor league teams, especially the Dayton Dragons? I know that we've talked to them a little bit and um, just not being able to play like they did last year they sell out every season every right. game so for them I'm sure it impacted them absolutely when you have an empty stadium you have all the costs but none of the revenue mm -hmm. and so they need assistance and it, and it certainly wasn't their fault it wasn't mismanagement this is a result of COVID it's a result of the pandemic and the orders that were put in place to keep us all safe just as we need to make certain that we keep us safe, we need to make certain that we get through this recovery, and that includes Dayton Dragons. Absolutely. And you're also working on a Brownsfield, uh, Brownfield's tax incentive bill. So what exactly is that, and what could it do? How could it help local communities? Sure. Well, Brownfields, as you know, is a redevelopment of a site that's been previously used. It has either environmental contamination or some archaeological site underneath it because there's been prior use of the property. Those sites have increased costs for development. And so what we're trying to do is try to aid people who are looking to redevelop them. For example, as you and I were talking before the show, uh, the Dayton Dragon mm -hmm. site was a brownfield site. It was a former Delco uh, factory site. The, the um, Riverscape also, there was a Sears Auto site where the uh, dome is. Um, all of those have extra costs. This would allow them to expense um, upon expenditure um, the cost for redevelopment so it gives them a tax incentive. And it's something that I, not just like the Dayton area already is sort of benefiting from because of all of your work as Dayton mayor, but this is something that local communities in our area can truly benefit from. Absolutely. I mean, if you look at any of the, you know, even inner ring suburbs, they would benefit from this where there's been development prior. There are increased costs. This helps bring development closer into the core, make certain we don't have sprawl, uh, and also bring jobs closer to where people live. Yeah, absolutely, which is a huge part of um, coming back from the pandemic, I'm sure, making sure we continue to hire and, and hire even more people. Um, another big topic this morning, obviously, is the President Biden's decision yes. to withdraw troops from Afghanistan. It's looking like it's going to happen earlier uh, than September 11th. Now, what are you, what are your thoughts on the troop withdrawal? And do you think we should be leaving the country at this point? Right. You know, I've been to Afghanistan several times, and both President Trump and President Biden have said that they believe that the, the United States mission should end in Afghanistan. And, and I support our uh, are transitioning uh, out of uh, Afghanistan. What I don't support is what President Biden has done here, and that is really, um, you know, abandon uh, the Afghan military, the Afghan people. Uh, President Biden said we're not going to run for the exits, but in fact he did, even in the middle of the night. Uh, the Afghan uh, national military has not been given the assistance that they need for a transition. There's no plan uh, that's there for them to execute to defend their country. This is not an issue of just them not having the heart or will to fight or uh, really uh, wanting the Taliban to rule the country. This is actually the, the Taliban. Uh, fighting and imposing upon the Afghan people, uh, I'm very concerned that there's going to be a lot of loss of life. You actually just kind of walked right into my next question was, I know the president has been criticized by Republicans because he, he they worry or there are concerns that this could cause some uh, violence within the nation and even maybe, you know, some security uh, um, concerns here in the U.S. as well. Absolutely. We were there for the security of the United States and our allies. That's why NATO was with us. <clears throat> if we leave and we abandon Afghanistan to the Taliban, we'll once again see that threat to the United States. 
Uh, but also, you know, the Taliban are not a peaceful group. It, even in the areas that they controlled, um, it was not peaceful. They're very murderous. Um, so this certainly is of great concern to the people of, of uh, Afghanistan, but also the United States. Okay, Congressman, thank you so much for coming in this thank morning. We me. appreciate you being here. It's always it's always a pleasure, and uh, thank you for being Great our first you. guest back Thanks into the studio. studio. We appreciate it. Adriana.